Hi everyone. Today I'll be presenting my science project on light and sound. The name of my community is Mary's Flower City. My community has a hospital to treat sick people, a fire station to protect people's home from fire, a police station, a grocery store for people to buy fruits, flowers, and vegetables, lots of houses with garden, a Canada Post mailbox to mail letters and cards, a park for kids and grown-ups to have fun, a greenhouse to grow fresh fruits, vegetables, and flowers, a school for kids to get good education. There are lots of flowers and trees planted in my community to reduce pollution. There are different forms of light in my community. The natural light will come from the sun. The rays from the sun will reflect on the greenhouse through the transparent window. The sun rays will give heat to the plants and vegetables and it will help them grow. The sun rays will also be absorbed by our bodies and it will give us energy. There are lots of artificial light emitters in my community such as LED lights on the road, street lights, light bulbs inside the building. The technology used in my community is LED lights on the road and light bulbs inside the building. These are examples of direct light emitters. The light will keep my community safe at night. My community has different sound waves. The sound will come from birds, cars, dogs, people, and wind. The walls of the building in my community will absorb the sound coming from outside. The pitch from the birds will be chirping. I'll build a greenhouse in my community for indigenous people. They will use the greenhouse to grow fruits, vegetables, and flowers. The greenhouse has transparent windows for natural sunlight. There are open windows for the wind to come inside the greenhouse. My community is safe from pollution because it has a greenhouse, trees, and flowers to provide us with oxygen. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Any questions? 